Today marks day 18 of remote learning in West Aurora School District 129. Teachers are in classrooms, students are at home, and academics, athletics, and activities are disrupted. Things look and feel dramatically different. To be concise, it's not ideal. I get it. We all get it. I hear you loud and clear. We all want to get back to our in-person environment sooner rather than later. This is not what any of us want. We're all on the same page with all of you. We want our students back in our classrooms and in our hallways as soon as it is safe to do so. That is what we ultimately believe is the most effective model of teaching and learning. Zoom meetings, Zoom classrooms, Zoom practices are not a great substitute for the in-person experience. Now, having said that, I realize that some of our community prefer the remote model for the time being until some long-term remedies are developed and are available. We respect that. It is our intent to provide the best possible opportunities in a safe and responsible manner while trying to meet the needs of all of our learners and their families. We are in the people business. We are working diligently and are being thoughtful about providing opportunities for our students across the many offerings of school, even in the virtual sense. We are proactively working to bring students back in person as much as possible within the constraints of our legislative agencies. We have successfully begun to bring back our autism programs this past Monday, as well as our certified nursing assistant, welding, advanced machining, and automotive programs. Next week, we will add to those student groups as we introduce more students to the equation. For the past several weeks, we have been planning for our next phase of in-person learning. We are looking to prioritize more student groups as we safely and responsibly bring students back to our buildings. We realize that there is apprehension to come back from parents, students, and staff. It is our intention to continue to be thoughtful yet progressive as we move forward in this environment. As a reminder, we continue to monitor our health metrics and those of our surrounding communities to help us in our decision making for the next steps. So on October 13, we will formalize our plans moving forward and share it with all of you in a timely manner. I realize that it is natural to compare notes as to what other districts are or aren't doing in terms of educational models. I will tell you in conversations with 30 other districts, there are 30 different plans based on the needs and factors within each of those districts and communities. It is our intent to gradually reintroduce students back into our schools and programs to minimize the possibility of having to return to remote learning. We want our return to in-person to be sustainable. We are committed to do our very best to make optimal decisions for what is best for the students in West Aurora.